adding a node to the head of the line, to the head of the linked list um, is very common. Um, it's really a programmer's or developer's choice uh, where you want that insertion point to be. Um, some may want the insertion point to be at the end because they tend to queue up from the end. Uh, so that's just a programmer choice. Uh, we'll look at code here for adding it to the head. Now there's gonna be two cases. If the list is currently empty, we have to do a little bit of different housekeeping than if the list is not empty. So let's take a, a look at why that is. First, uh, in this line of code here, you know, we have created a, a pointer to a node and we've called it head. And we're going to go ahead and uh, initialize it to the null pointer. We need to get into the habit of initializing our pointers so they're not dangling somewhere in space uninitialized. Uh, Replit might even throw you an error if you don't initialize your pointers to the null pointer. Uh, so don't forget that. So right now we just have this pointer called head and it's pointing to the ground. Now, this is the case where the, um, the linked list is currently empty. So what we'll do is we will create a node. We can put a value in it. We can say that its pointer is going to uh, point to the null pointer. And as a final step, we just have to tell head where to point. And we're gonna tell head point right here now and don't point here any longer because I now have a node with some data for you to actually point to. So that's what happens in the case that the uh, linked list is currently empty. Now, if it's not, let's say, suppose that our linked list looks like we have it right now and we're gonna insert from uh, to the head, well, then we've got um, a little bit different of a process. And that's why we have to split these into, into two cases. Um, here is our new node. And we can put some data into it and we will uh, make it point to the null pointer, just for good housekeeping. Now, since this is our new node and we're gonna insert from the beginning, well, we'll have two replumbings to do uh, for the housekeeping on this one. First, this node that we just created, that can actually point to head. Since head's currently pointing uh, to this node right here, we can just say, all right, well, our new node is now pointing to, to the head. And then we can just simply tell head, nope, go ahead and point to that new node and we're golden. Our chain is now intact. We're keeping um, the linked list intact so that there is a pointer that can actually traverse the entire linked list. So that's adding a node to the head. Um, adding a node to the tail is going to be uh, an exercise for you in one of the labs. And that's gonna be fairly simple if this is our linked list. And we've got head pointing here. And here's the very last element. And if we want to insert an element, a, a new node at the end of the linked list here, well, let's just first create that node. We'll call it new node. Um, we can put a value in it. We can say, okay, its pointer is gonna be to the null pointer. So there's our new node. And now it's just a matter of traversing from head to the end here. And when we finally get to the end, um, we can just plumb that pointer, change it from the null pointer, and just have it now point to the new node. 
So let's take a look at code implementations that do this. Here's what's happening when we have an empty list. First, in this first line, we're creating the head pointer. It's not pointing anywhere, so we'll just create it down here. Here's head, and it is pointing to the null pointer. Now, commonly, these next operations will be in some kind of a loop. You know, just keep going until the user is done or you're exhausted a list, whatever you need to do. But the second line here of importance is where we actually create the new node. So we're using the new keyword to finally create a new memory allocation from the heap. And we're gonna call this new node. So we create this node and we have now a pointer to it called new node. Because we have a pointer touching it now, we can do some manipulations. Now, this next line here in line three, that's just uh, confirming. Uh, if the head is empty, we're going to follow these steps. Otherwise, we'll follow a different set of steps that I'll get to in a second. So here, the list was empty. So uh, here's what we do. First, in line four, we are going to tell head, point to new node now. So Head is no longer going to point that way. Head is now going to point to whatever new node is pointing at. Right there. Then we tell um, new node arrow next to point to the null pointer. So new node is currently pointing to that node. And its new node arrow next value is this pointer right here. And we're going to tell it, go ahead and point to the null pointer. And then presuming we got some value or some data or some object um, to insert into this node's value field, uh, then we would go ahead and do that there. And that assignment, again, uses that arrow operator for new node arrow value. And here's what we do if that list is non-empty. So we do start with this current linked list right here. And we've got head pointing to the start and the last node's uh, next pointer is pointing to the null pointer. Now, uh, same code as last time, we're gonna create a new node here and create a pointer uh, called new node. That's a point right at that. We can populate it with some data. And at some point, we're going to have to do something with that pointer. So now that we've got new node um, created in memory, again, from the heap, well, then we're going to execute this else clause here. We need to execute those three um, statements right there. And let's see how that plumbing works out. New node arrow next is going to point to head. So here's new node. This pointer is called new node arrow next. And we're saying, go ahead and point to wherever head is pointing. Well, head is currently pointing here. So I'm now going to point to there. So that takes care of that re-plumbing. And here we'll just assign whatever value uh, to the node um, that we need to. Maybe it's an object or something. But then look what we do last head now has to be repiped. Head can no longer, uh, will no longer want to point to this node anymore because that's no longer the first element of the list. Head now is pointing or needs to point to this node. And since we currently have new node already pointing to it, we can just say the line uh, head equals new node, and that takes care of that.